Hey, what's up, Divine Ones? It's Latoya O'Keele. Welcome back to another video, baby. So if you are new to the Divine Ones, I want to welcome you. Come on in, come on in, baby. <laughs> I am Latoya O'Keele. I'm a master life coach, a spiritual leader, and a business mentor. I train and certify life coaches, baby, okay? And we build transformational leaders for the kingdom of God. So if that sound like you, that sound like something you might be interested in, I want you to make sure you click that subscribe button. Make sure you turn on your notifications so you can get a notification every time I drop new videos here on the channel, okay? Because this channel is all about empowering you to rise up, to become the leader that God has created you to be, baby, to activate beast mode and to walk in your divine purpose. And so to all my divine ones that's been rocking with me for a while, you ain't no stranger to the family. I want to let y'all know that I appreciate you so, so much. I thank y'all so much for hanging in there, for watching the videos, for subscribing to the channel, for joining the academy. I just want to let y'all know that I really appreciate y'all and I'm so grateful for you, baby. So grateful for you coming in and getting your transformation, okay? So getting right on into the message for today. Listen, something happens when you take the first step. I want y'all to put that in the comments. I want you to grab your journal, grab your blue ink pen, write that title down in your journal, Put it in the comments. Say something happens when I take the first step. Something happens. Some way, somehow. I don't know how God do it, but it's just the power of the Holy Spirit. <laughs> Somebody say that, baby. Say it's the power of the Holy Spirit. We don't know how God do it. We don't know how he orchestrate this thing. But all I know is God put something here. Then he makes some shake over there. And then one way this happened and another way this happened. And then something come in. We don't know how it came in. Something fall in for you. A door is open for you. And then boom, the Holy Spirit that made a way. And that's what I hear God saying. He says that I will make a way for you. He says, behold, I will do a new thing. Now it shall spring forth. I'm doing a new thing in your life. I'm doing a new thing in your marriages. I'm doing a new thing with your relationships, with your friendships, with your businesses, in your body. And if you believe that and you know that today, baby, I want you to put that in the comments right now. Say, God is doing a new thing in my life. God is doing a new thing in your life, baby. But you got to take the first step. Because I'm telling you, as human beings, if you anything like me, we got to have that thing all the way figured out. And I understand. I get it. I understand that there's a principle, the principle of planning. I understand the, the importance of planning and the, and the importance of being strategic and developing strategies and plans and action plans and having everything mapped out. But don't get so busy having getting everything mapped out and planning and developing strategies that you never take the first step. Don't get so busy analyzing and then overanalyzing and then thinking and then overthinking that you don't ever take the first step. Because, listen, there's a principle and it's important for you to plan, for you to strategize and to have an action plan and to put everything down on paper. That is very important. But I'm telling you from what I have seen in my own life, in my own walk with God, and in my own business even, that out of all the planning and the preparation and the journaling and the writing that I did, did nothing really take off for me like that as much as it did when I took that first step. When I took that first step, when I made that first step to step out on faith, when I made that first step to do something that was against the norm for me. When I made that first step to step outside the box, to get out of the boat, I did a video not too long ago here on the channel called Get Out of the Boat. It's time to walk on water. And that's what God is saying for many divine ones in this season, that this is your season to get out of the boat. The boat represents being average, being just like everybody else, living outside of the promises of God, missing out on the miracles of God. It's your season to come out of that and to walk on water, to do what man said was impossible, to do what they said could never be done in your hometown, to do what they said could never be done from your family with your last name. This is your season to get out of the boat and to walk on the water. 
And when I say something happens when you take the first step, I want you to know and understand that the first step is going to look different for each and every one of you. It's going to look different for each and every one of you. When I say step out on faith, I'm not always talking about leave your job because you can't just up and leave your job. That's a process. Everything has a process. So you just determine the season that you in. You pray and ask the Lord to reveal to you what season you in and what your process looks like for you. And then what do you need to do? What step do you need to take right now to move the needle forward in your life? That may be you investing in a master class. That may, the next step for you may be you uh, doing some research, going online, doing some research, learning, learning some new information about your craft, learning some new information about your gift. The next step for you may be signing up for Bible study in your church, your local Bible study, getting you a Bible buddy, and y'all start digging in the scriptures and y'all start uh, seeking the kingdom of God with your whole heart and you in Bible study and you studying with your Bible buddy and y'all digging in the scriptures, y'all doing research, y'all getting context on the scriptures so you can get that deeper revelation with God. You can get new knowledge in the kingdom of God. That next step for you may be you starting uh, committing to the process of walking for 30 minutes every day. The next step for you may be you committing to drinking more water. The next step for you may be you saying, hey, I'm going to start striking up conversations with people. I've always been introverted all my life, but I'm going to take a step to start striking up conversations with strangers because I don't know who got my blessing. I don't know who I'm going to meet. You see what I'm saying? So the first step is going to look different for each and every one of you. And I wanted to make a video about this. Um, this is actually like a spinoff from one of my full messages that I turned into a reel. And then from that reel, God told me to turn it into a video, baby. Okay. And he says, something happens when you take the first step. Just like how Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. said, he said, and I'm not quoting him verbatim, but this is his quote. He spoke about how we don't need to see the whole staircase. We don't need to see the whole way. We don't need to see the whole staircase. All we need to do is take the first step. And what I'm telling you on this video, baby, is when you take that first step, by the power of God, by the power of the Holy Spirit, something opens up for you. A new door is made open for you. But this new door, many times, it does not present itself until you take that step. And I have seen this in my walk with God. I have seen this in my business. You know, when I first started my life coaching business, I was thinking about all the things that I didn't know how to do. You know, I did not come from a family of entrepreneurs. I knew of no entrepreneurs personally. I had never seen this done before. And this thing just seemed astronomical to me. It seemed bigger than me. It seemed impossible. Lord, how am I going to do this? But that was because I was looking at the whole staircase. I'm looking at, okay, I got to set up a website. Okay, they say I got to publish a book. Okay, I got to get a certification. Okay, I got to get some systems to start tracking all this stuff. Okay, I got to get some new softwares. Okay, I got to have this type of computer. Okay, I got to do this to get clients. And when I'm thinking about all this stuff, I'm looking at the whole staircase. But God told me, he said, you have a gift. Focus on serving that gift. Focus on making an impact with that gift that you have. He told me to start with what I do know. What is it that I do know how to do? What is my strong point? And he said, serve from that place. And I remember I got on Facebook and I started, I started that little Facebook group and I started going live in that little Facebook group. And then I started that little podcast and I started nervous as I was. I got on that little podcast and I started doing my little podcast messages, <laughs> started doing my little podcast messages. And then a little bit by little bit, I took a step. I took a step. Come on now, this helping somebody. I took a step. I didn't see the whole staircase, but I took a step. And then every time I would take a step, I would learn something new on that step. I would be wobbly at first when I first got on the step, but I would learn something new. I would meet somebody new. I would strike up a new type of conversation with somebody. Somebody would suggest something new to me. I would meet some new people and they would lead me into another lane. And I would discover more things about myself and about this gift and more things about my industry. Because that's another thing. If you're a business owner, 
you an entrepreneur, you're going to discover new things about your, your category of business. You won't learn, you won't know everything there is to know about your business in the beginning. That's why you got to always be learning. You have to commit to a lifestyle of learning because it's going to be new developments that come up in your industry, in your field, and you want to be up to date on that. So none of this came about though, had I not took the first step. Had I not created the group and started doing videos inside the group, had I not created the podcast and started doing episodes on the podcast and see a lot of times we have what they, what they say is called analysis paralysis or something like that, but we have analysis paralysis, whatever it's called, we, what well, we've been and analyzed stuff so much till we stuck and we won't take no action because we scared if we make a move, we're going to make the wrong move. But I learned this baby. You have to take that step and you have to be willing to embrace whatever comes along with that step and understand that when you are in the kingdom of God, you do not lose. You cannot lose. You either win or you learn. So if you didn't win, then you learn something. So you document that step. I took this step. This was the result. This was the outcome. And this is what it taught me. And this is how I'm going to apply this lesson to my life. And that's how you move from one step to the next. That's how you move from one area of your life to the next. You take the lessons, you apply them to help you become better, not bitter. Remember, you a divine one. You becoming better, not bitter, okay? So this is how growth happens. This is how transformation happens, okay? So something happens when you take the first step. Let's just say you commit to walking 30 minutes every day, okay? As you walk in 30 minutes every day, you may be going to a track up the road from your house. You may be going to a park up the road from your house. And as you walk in, let's just say, for example, you meet somebody out there. You see this person out there. They walk around the same time you walk every day. And y'all strike up a conversation. And then they start telling you about this membership that they have at this special gym that they go to. And y'all become friends because y'all walk the same trail every day. Boom, next thing you know, you know, they had a buddy day at the gym and they invited you to come with them. You ain't really a gym person like that, but you you have become familiar with this person. You like this person. You be, have become friends with this person. So you go with them. And then you fall in love with the gym. You fall in love with the gym. And then six months, 12 months later, baby, you done turned into a whole beast in the gym. You done started a whole fitness company to where you training people and fitness and stuff because you got in that gym and you just connected so well with the equipment and with the people in there and then next thing you know baby you a healthy fitness guru you don't transform your whole body you don't transform your whole life but that would have never happened had you not took that first step so the first step seems very small it may seem very insignificant but it is very important baby in the grand scheme of things. Like when you look at the whole picture of your life, you're going to see how important that little bitty step was to your growth. Because had that not happened, then you wouldn't be what God called you to be. Okay. So the next step opens up for you. Y'all going to see me looking down right here because I got my notes right here. Got my journal, baby. <laughs> got me a journal. Okay. So the next step opens up. Uh, the way is made out of no way. God makes a way for you out of no way. But even though God makes this way for you out of no way, this way don't fall out of the sky. It don't fall out of the sky. It happens when you take action. It happens when you take a step. No matter how big or small or itty bitty it may be, you have to take a step in the direction of whatever it is that you want. What is your desired outcome for your life? What is your vision for your life? What is your vision for your spiritual life? What is your vision for your physical body, your physical health? What is your, your vision for your, uh, your emotional life as far as emotionally? Do you desire to be emotionally intelligent? What is your vision, um, what we say, spiritually, mentally, emotionally, physically, financially? What is your vision financially? What is the desired outcome that you desire to have in your life financially? What is your goal amount of money that you desire to earn by using your gifts. You're going to add value to the world by using your gifts. And as you use your gifts, what is the amount of money that you would desire to earn each month 
each week, however the frequency you want to earn this money. I want you to get clear on all that. I want you to write all that down. And I want you to get clear on all of that, baby. And then I want you to start asking yourself, what are the baby steps that I have to take every day to get me closer to that goal? Don't matter if it went but a 0.5, half an inch closer, you made progress. And you got to take that step because nothing will happen for you until you take the first step. Okay? So you got to get on the path. I remember I did a message about this. You got to get on the path. Because when you get on the path, God will provide what you need when you need it. This is very important. A lot of times we wait, we sit there on the shore and we wait for God to throw us something. We wait for God to reveal something to us. We wait for God to show us the way. We wait for him to roll out the carpet for us to how we see, how we see our beginning and we see our end. But that is not the way it happened with God, baby. You got to get on the path first. You have to trust God enough to say, Lord, I'm going to go. Lord, I don't know what I'm doing, but I'm going to start doing something. I'm going to start taking a baby step. And you have to trust that when I take this step, the Holy Spirit is going to meet me. There's going to be a rushing out to meet you. And God is going to send the people, the places, the things that you need in order to carry out this vision that he has given to you. Because he is God, baby. He is not a man that he should lie. But he will do just what he said he would do. And if he told you that he would deliver you, if he told you that he would bring you out, God says that I'm going to do just that, okay? But you got to do your part, and you do your part by taking the first step. So set your goals, okay? If you already have goals, then revisit them, reevaluate them, see if they need tweaking, because your mind is steady growing every day, every week. It's supposed to be steady growing. So you thinking bigger now. Maybe when you wrote them goals before, you was thinking smaller. Now God saying think big. So if you already have goals, reevaluate your goals, revisit your goals, set them, okay? Set your goals for all areas of your life, like we said. And then you start breaking that down into the baby steps that you need to take every day. That's going to move you closer in some type of way, move you closer towards your goal. And then you might be a little wobbly, but you take that step. You take that step. Whatever that step is, you take that step. And know the power of God will unfold in your life when you take that step. You don't have to know how you're going to get it done. You don't have to know how the plan is going to unfold for you. You just got to trust God and know that. When you take that first step, that he going to come out to meet you. And it just happens. We don't know. Like, it's just the power of God. It just happens. You just meet somebody. You just, you get a phone call. You get an email. You get a text message. You get a DM. You get a letter in the mail. You get something. You, you, you're riding down the highway and you see a billboard for something. You see a class. You see a master class. You see a seminar. And you are pulled in your spirit it's like something is summoning you, calling you to invest in this class, buy this book, read this book, connect with these people, go to this gym, go to this place. And this is how the journey unfolds. But you have to get on the path first. You have to get on the path. So you have to take the step. And how you take the step, you determine the step. Because you you can't create the step. You can't, you don't know what the step is if you have no goals. So you have to set the goals first. What is your desired outcome? Where are you trying to get to? What do you envision for yourself according to the word of God? What does God say about you? Who does God say you are? And then you find scriptures that support that. And then this is, and you pray and ask God, Lord, reveal to me your plans for me according to your word. Because in your word, it says this about me. In, in your word, you promise me this. So, Lord, give me a vision that supports your word, that supports your principles. Give me a vision that does not go against the kingdom of God, and he will give you that, baby. And then when that vision begins to come to you and you write your goals down, steps. What are the baby steps? And little by little, you take that little step, you take that little baby step, and then watch how things begin to happen. Watch how things begin to happen. And then you're going to be sitting somewhere, having a conversation with somebody. You're going to be doing a video just like how I'm doing right now. Or you're going to be having some type of interaction with somebody. And they're going to be saying, how in the world did you do this? They're going to be saying, "What? how did you even start? And you're going to trace all the way back in your mind to that one little baby step. That one little step. And you're going to say, 
when I took that one step, it changed everything for me. It set off a whole series of events in my life that led me to where I am today. That's the power of God, baby. Okay. So I am Latoya Okia, your master coach. I love y'all so much. Something happens when you take the first step. So don't procrastinate. Take the first step to move yourself closer towards your dreams and towards the vision that God has for your life. Okay. So don't forget that we have our Overcoming a Scarcity Mindset 2.0 Masterclass. Click the link below in the description and sign up, baby. I'm going to be giving you the playbook to living a life of abundance, baby, and receiving everything that God has for you. I'm giving you the playbook to overcome a scarcity mindset. Say bye-bye to scarcity, baby, and say hello to the newness of God. Say hello to the abundance that God has for you, okay? So I love y'all so much. Click the link below and sign up. I'll check in with y'all later.